compliments of this season to everyone. Poking this cake with um, a skewer and feeding it with alcohol will ensure this cake stays moist and delicious. I mean, this cake is everything. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Efe. This is my kitchen, Efe's Food Kitchen. Um, judging by the ingredients in front of you, I'm sure you can probably guess what I'm going to be making today. So obviously with the Christmas season coming, not too far, I'm going to be making a fruit cake. So I'll be introducing the ingredients as we go along, but um, I'm going to be making the adult one, which is one that has alcohol. Uh, but later on in the week, I'll, I'll be making the child-friendly one without alcohol. So without further ado, let's get started. What I like most about this recipe is you don't have that lengthy soaking. Um, if you do it this way, you still have the same result, trust me. So um, I'll show you as we go along. As this is a pan method, um, I'm going to be using my pan for everything. So the first thing going in is my softened butter. As you can see, it's so soft, which is why it's easy for me to smash it with a spoon. So the next thing going in is my soft brown sugar. If you wanted a darker consistency, by all means, you can use the dark brown. But I didn't want to use the dark brown. I wanted to use the light brown. But whatever you choose is fine. So I'm giving that a very good mix till everything is well combined. And then the next thing going in is my fruit. So this is raisins, sultanas. You know, as you can see, it's got golden raisins, which is the lighter one. And then the dark one, which is the normal raisins. It's also got sultanas. So I'm going to be giving that a mix as well. And then the next thing that is going to be going in is my um, zest of zest of an orange. I mean, orange zest and zest of one lemon and then the juice of one orange but as these oranges are quite small i think i'm going to be using the juice of two oranges instead of the juice of one because that is not going to be enough so now we are ready to uh juice these oranges so the first thing i'm going to do is slice them in half and then um, use the juicer to squeeze the juice as much as I can into the container at the bottom. And then later on, I'll be pouring it into my fruit mixture. So now I'm going to pour in that. I'm going to give it another mix. I'm going to put it on the fire. But first of all, before I do that, I'm going to cut, put my cranberry as well. Two spoons of that. And then I'm going to put my cherries as well. Not much. So I'm going to be chopping them. Just chopping them in half. Cherries look really nice in fruit cake, and it tastes amazing as well. So that goes in as well. So now I'm going to my cooker. So I'm going to boil this till this start to boil. I'm boiling for about. 10 minutes it is melted and starts bubbling up and I'm just going to let it cool down you can see it's starting to liquefy so now I am putting my alcohol I'm going to put a tablespoon This is a quick way you can make fruit cake if you didn't want to soak it like for two or three days. You still get the same results. I'm just gonna leave that to boil. 
for about 10 minutes until the fruit is soft then but after 10 minutes i'll leave it to cool down slightly before adding my dry ingredients you can see it's starting to bubble mm. the aroma coming from this saucepan is just it can't be described it can't be put in words as you can see it's boiling it's been boiling for about 10 minutes exactly so i'm turning off the heat and i'm going to let it cool down till it's just warm it's hot right now so i'm just gonna let it cool down so as it's cooling down the fruit is gonna get plumpier and it's gonna absorb the moisture see the mixture is cool slightly it's been cooling now for about 15 minutes so i'm going to add i forgot to mention this honey i'm going to add half a teaspoon of honey then i'm going to add my eggs but i'm going to crack them first so that there's no shell in this bowl first before putting it in the cake i'm putting two at a time That's, see, it's a good thing that I cracked it separately. The shell I put it in the two. So that's four eggs. I'm going to give that a mix. The reason why we let it cool down before adding the eggs, because if you don't let it cool down, what you have is scrambled eggs. And you don't want scrambled eggs, you want cake mixed up. So now I'm going to add my flour. So I'm adding one cup and three quarters of a cup. So that's one cup. And that's three quarters, three quarters of a cup. Next I'm going to add my baking powder, half a teaspoon. Of that. So I'm going to be giving that another mix. You see how easy this is. The normal traditional method, you have to use one bowl for this, one bowl for that, washing too many bowls. But as you do it this way, and you still end up with the same results. Now it's time to add the spices. So I'm going to start with my nutmeg, ground nutmeg. One teaspoon of that. One teaspoon of ginger powder. Call it fruitcake for a reason. So that's what I just put in, ginger powder. One teaspoon of cinnamon powder. And one teaspoon of ground mixed spice. I haven't even started baking this cake. And the aroma coming from my kitchen. Huh. What do you call something? Make sure every all the spices are everywhere. So now I'm going to prepare my tin, my baking, my cake tin. I'm ready to line this pan. So I have you know the butter paper. I'm just gonna leave that.
first round. In this house, we don't waste anything. So now I have, I have this um, paper. This is. I'm gonna put two to protect our cake. So it doesn't burn. We don't want it to burn. Light sleep oils. So now I'm ready to put our cake in. So the oven has been preheating at 150 degrees centigrade and I'm going to be baking it initially for 45 minutes then after 45 minutes I'll turn down the heat to 140 degrees so it can cook slowly for another 70 minutes yes guys we want it to cook slowly and when it's cooking if you notice that it's getting brown halfway you can put some foil over it so that's our cake guys it's going straight into the oven now to bake so i'll see you when it's out So our cake is ready um, I had to put some foil on the top because I didn't want it to get too brown on the top so as you can see I'm poking the, the hot cake with toothpick or you can use a skewer and then I'm feeding the cake with with alcohol because this is a alcohol fruit cake but if you didn't want it to be alcohol you could you could always feed it with orange juice apple juice you know any kind of juice you like obviously for children friendly version and then after that i then let it rest for about 20 minutes so everything can be soaked into the cake and now is the big reveal so we're having a look as you can see because i really oiled the pan very well it didn't stick to the cake and um, to the pan and now i'm going to give you guys a you know a sneak peek of what it looks like on the inside we all know that fruit cake tastes always tastes better and cuts better on the very on the next day not on the same day but i couldn't resist i had to show you guys what it looks like on the inside so guys if you like this video please give me a big thumbs up like comment subscribe and share with your friends and family and i'll see you in my next video bye and compliments of the season